Okay, so I've got a uh, PDF here. You can see here down in the lower left hand corner it's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And we've got uh, the way it was created, we uh, would like it uh, to include bleed area. So I just want to show you how, you know, that this is possible. Um, so if I were to go under um, global change, I can run the extend bleed. So that would add oh, a certain amount. You can just enter some amount in there and run that. And you'll see it doesn't do anything at all related to you know, what we're seeing here. But if I go to advanced and I go to print production and go to crop pages and then say I'd like this to be, oh, I don't know, let's just say 120 millimeters by 120. Uh, you'll see, although it doesn't show up here in the preview, um, if I say OK, you can see there is bleed objects and it's retained the trim box. So uh, that would be uh, something that uh, when it comes in the door, we could modify a PDF to make it ready uh, for that. It assumes, of course, that the bleed objects are there, but at least you can run it and add bleed. Hope that helps.